Hi everyone, this is Vicki. I am back with my next uh, Western theme video. And in the past one, I made this little mini journal. And I thought I'd continue with the Western theme because I just love it. And I have some dyes that I'd like to share with you that I've made some really cute things. So I made this um, in that journal, that little mini journal, I made this little tag featuring this one, um, this tag, and I love this. This is so cute. And so I put that in that journal. And then I also have this one, this, this um, frame die, and it's a quilted frame. And this is the information here where you can check out this um, die. I love this die. It's so versatile and you can use it for many different, um, in many different ways. This is what it looks like and it's so cute, isn't it? So I thought this looked Western to me. And so um, I used my paper, that only paper I have that's Western. And this is from Recollections and it's Portobello Road. And I don't know, this is several years old, so I don't know if you can get this, but I could not, I mean, I haven't seen any Western theme um, papers um, since, but I buy what I like and then I use it accordingly. <laughs> so I use this paper, one of these papers out of here. Um, I use this one. And I used the spurs, which is, here it is, the spurs. Oh, there's kind of a shadow here. So I use this one. So let me show you on, on this first uh, one that I made um, using these two dies. This is also, um, these are Anna White's um, designs. And um, she had this October release, um, and that's when I bought this, but um, haven't had a chance to use it since until now. This one is the Cowboy Boot Pair. And then there's also a, a little bit larger one that I used, um, that I haven't used rather, um, yet. So that'll be coming up later. Okay, so the first thing I made was this tag. And it came out so cute, right? I love this color. Um, the kind of camel color and it looks like leather. I thought I put a little leather uh, a loop on here and on the back it is backed with another piece of the front. So this one isn't all the way cut through and it's just, you know, the, the um, embossing shows through also on this. But I love this as a tag. Then I decided to make a card. So I made this little larger card and um, I used the, there's the boot and the tag and I'm, it has that same little leather loop on it. I have this um, die that I used from Gina Marie. And I just wanted to tell you about this. This is an excellent die. Um, a very good value and I did get it at wholesalecraftingdesigns.com and I got this recently uh, it's a Gina Marie designs but it's she has two websites different ones and this wholesale one is um, I think older dies and less expensive so I, I picked this one up and it looks really nice as um, part of this card and then these this is the um, the spurs um, that go around on the boot, you know, on the back of the boot uh, paper. And I did add a little piece of um, leather here and cut it into a, f a flag and also a piece of music paper here. And then I wrapped it to the back side. Okay, and so then I did do some sewing of this paper all the way around and left these two strings. So I have a brown top uh, string and underneath it's white. As I just didn't want to change both of them, but it looks fine like this. And then on the inside, I just have the same paper um, die on the inside. And on the back, I just have a little um, 
stamp label that I've made in the past and I make some I just make a bunch of them in different colors and for me to use so I don't have to keep making different things <laughs> so that is this one and as I was looking at this I thought this would be a great frame to set on your table so I try to figure out how I can make it into a frame and that's what I did so I didn't have anything to put in here, but I thought of something recently, an old photo. Um, but you could put your old photos of when you were in cowboy um, attire and, and uh, put your photo in this. And this is how I made it. I backed it up. So this is a sample, right? So, you know, I have a little goober here. <laughs> And then, um, so this is what I did. I used um, one of those windows, one of a window from the from a previous. Actually, it's this one. This window here, this part. I had that left over, so I just was um, uh, trying it out, and I got one of these on the top, on the back, and one on the top, and I had cut this piece for it to sit, and I and I cut it with the pinking shear so that it would grab the table and not fall over. So it works, you know, I think that works and I could, this is my prototype for in the future when I want to make another one. So that is the frame that I've made. Um, and this is the one that, this is the die that I'm, I'm using for all these projects. Okay, so the next thing I made was I found in my stash my favorite Betsy Clark um, stationery. And I have bought this vintage uh, stationery in a box. So I took one sheet out and this is what I came up with. And it came out beautiful. So I used the paper, this the paper from this stack. And um, I um, used this die to make this frame and then I put the place the picture inside and I thought that's so cute I use the same uh, die the Gina Marie die here and I backed it with the same paper as as the frame and then I have another um, uh, I used a um, a file folder for the card and so you could tell it's file folder. Okay, so this is so cool. Um, I love using file folders as cards, as the card base. And then um, when you open it, the stationery, the little girl was sitting here and the stationery is over here. So when I cut it out, I had this piece. So I cut it to fit it inside of this, um, this little frame, uh, this little, let's see, this is also a Gina Marie die. Let me show you that one also. And it comes just with one. This is a loopy die. Let's see, let's name. Uh, there's no name on this, so I'm sorry, but it just comes with one die. And so I backed it with this same paper and so you can see it in the background and it came out really cute and of course this is my favorite stamp here that I used um, from the fifth store and I just did it one side and then the other side and so that's what that looks like so I love how that looks I love these flowers so anyway that's my um, uh, course this is some gauze I sandwiched in and some um, twine and a button a vintage button so that's what that looks like now this is part of above the little girl and these are the little dandelion things and I'm, I'm planning on putting a little uh, poem or saying right here and signing it so this is so cute I just love this card uh, I love the way it came out with the Betsy Clark, my favorite little, little girl. Okay, so that is the other, another one card that I made. And then, 
when I was in Dollar Tree, I found this. And it is ribbon, it says. So I thought this was really interesting. Looked like wood grain, sort of whitewash. And so I bought this at the Dollar Tree. And um, I had an idea. Because I used this paper, which I bought somewhere in November, I believe, because of the tiny prints. And um, it wasn't so tiny. <laughs> when I got it so um, I just have a I think I just have a couple sheets in here but um, let me just show you the the card so this is the card I made so I used die cut this ribbon and um, put this on top actually I pasted it on top of uh, a cardstock and then I ran it through I used this tiny ribbon that um, that Judy gave me and I just have a teeny little piece left Judy so if you're watching and you can tell me this is cut in half this where you got this ribbon I'd like to buy some more because it's so useful it's so pretty dainty little ribbon but I put it pasted it in side the card here because I thought it went so well with this little deer and I thought the deer would be in the forest with so this wood grain kind of frame looks so cute together and then I had the my teeny tiny flowers I put in the corner here um, this is a I, I fussy cut this out of from the paper and then I put these little tiny um, flowers that I've made I have a video on that if you'd like to see that one how I made those and this also and I put it on a piece of um, a book page and there's a little bit of tiny threads here that I put under and this base here this is a leather piece a remnant leather piece that I put behind it and I thought it came out so cute so I put it on the card stock um, I have in my stash and then inside this is the paper so it's not so tiny but I wanted to use the paper that coordinates with this little deer and so then I put this um, the center of the of this right in the center for me to write down the sentiment and I can always add some um, deli paper on the side if I want to write some more or another panel. And then on the back, I use uh, this little piece. And um, so I can write on here. And then this is a little piece of the um, paper also. So I love this card. It came out so good. So you can tell how versatile. So you, you can make these. You could make it um, wood grain. You could make it leather. And you could make it um, just uh, quilted, like like quilted fabric. And so I did not stop here, girls, or guys and girls. <laughs> so from here, I've lost the video uh, recording, and so I'm starting the uh, new portion of it. I'm showing you a stamp that I used in the next um, card. And it is from StampingBella.com, and I just love this um, whimsical stamp. It's probably the only um, one I have re have bought in the past. It's, it's an old old stamp, but I just love it. So I made a card using that within the frame of this, and uh, this is the tag that I used. And I used vellum in the center, stamped it on vellum, and I wanted to see what the transparency of this card would be um, uh, using, using vellum. And it did work. You can see the outline the, of, the, um, of the stamp here, but I think it would be so much better on acetate. It would be really cute and to hang to hang in the window or um, hang on um, on something. I think it's a really cute idea. 
I used cording from Hobby Lobby and it's a leather cord. I showed in uh, my previous video, I believe. Uh, I used it on another another item I made. And so I thought that was really cute. So I did make a card I'll show you next. And it is coming up. <laughs> Here it is. And so I didn't use the frame. I just wanted to continue using this little girl and make a card out of it. <clears throat> showing the paper lace that I have in my stash. And I just love this paper lace. And so I, I use that a lot on my card here. And I did ink, or not ink it, I, I penciled in the dress and um, used the embossing folder of a uh, doily and just kind of tore it in strips and inked it up, distressed it. I uh, have my little tiny flowers that I've done a video on and um, and just layered it with gauze and ribbon seam binding. <clears throat> I did put some deli paper over over that, um, stamped it and placed it over the card so that it gave it a a different look. It kind of gives it a cloudy look. Uh, uh, some different kinds of texture over the card. So I like to do that ever so often. I did do some pinking on the side there of the card. And I did a stamp there from Tilda, colored it up, and you can see the cloudiness of the paper. It is um, from the deli paper that I stamped it on. And you use the blue envelope matching the little dress. So I think I have the next card. I wanted to use a photograph. And this is um, a photograph of my granddaughter, who her mother, my, my daughter-in-law, is a photographer. And she had superimposed wings on there, I think, and um, took a photo of her while in the, in the uh, grassy meadow of some sort. I'm not sure about that butterfly. I think that she probably placed that one in there too and blurred the background. It's a beautiful photograph. And so I wanted to be whimsy. And I, so I used this tool I bought from Michaels recently. And I hadn't seen that one before. So I, I used that. I took a long strip and scrunched it in the middle and laid down the picture in the center. I scrunched it in the back also and uh, put another little tag in there. And then there's um, a little uh, rolled ribbon that was in my stash and also seam binding I put in the background. And then on the sides I ended the uh, tool and placed um, some this uh, sheet of, of uh, paper from P13, six by six, and I just scored it in the center and placed it in the center. So there is part of tool, part of uh, paper showing, and there's some lace that I put through here, doubled it, and then I have a panel I cut, die cut, some gingham, green gingham with another flower from my stash. And this is from My Favorite Things, die. It is a, a die, the largest one that I used in there. And this is the scrunch up of the back part and then a, a paper piece cut out that I used from that paper pad.
and I love how the they have those tiny flowers on the side there and I could put my um, a signature or a saying of some sort if I want to but I just thought <clears throat> that's another way you could use the frame die in a contemporary manner and as an actual frame for photographs so I really love this die from um, Impression Obsession by Anna White. Thank you, Anna, so much. I just love your dies and this one in particular because it's so versatile and um, I love playing with it and making all different kinds of things with that particular die. It was just a lot of fun and I thank you all for watching this long video. Bye-bye.